read Horgan's complaint, if I compare it to the Philip Roth of the later years, there seems to be no failure. Does it seem to be the same writer? Well, I think you could say the same about me in most ways, and that should be the case. I mean, I published my first novel when I was 29, and I'm now 50. I'm not the same person I was when I was 29. I've had all the life experience that happens between in your 30s and 40s. If I was still writing the same books, there'd be something very wrong with me, I think. You attempted something very ambitious in the Hart's Invisible Fury, Invisible Furies, by actually giving us a history of Ireland, a moral history of Ireland in many ways, over the past 70 years. And then all of a sudden, I started to read your latest novel. It hasn't been yet published. I hope that Penguin Random House will give it to us very, very soon. A Traveler at the Gates of Wisdom. And that's even more ambitious. I mean, it's a history of humanity, also with this very peculiar handling of time that you have. I mean, if it was peculiar to go through the history of Ireland in 70 years' time, this is 2,000 years of history in little vignettes, in little narrations, in different parts of the world. Tell us a little bit so that our Mexican audience gets a glimpse of what's going to come next in Spanish. Well, a lot of my early novels were historically based, and I haven't written any historical books in a while. And when I finished the two Irish novels, I just felt this desire to write something set in the past and to get away from Ireland together for a little bit. So, yeah, so it's an unusual book where it's 52 chapters, and it starts in the year zero, and it ends in the year 2080. And there's 51 countries and a space station. And with each one, we move forward in time. And not with the same person, but with the narrator of each section as we move forward in time has had all the same experiences as the narrator of the previous one, just in a different point of history and a different place. And the idea of the book, really, was that no matter what changes have taken place in the world over the two millennia, 